All right, so we'll go get, ahead and get started. I have a milk jug, um, it's just kind of the kind that we use. It has this uh, plastic cover on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick, pick that off. But while I do that, I just wanna let you know that the um, milk jug that I'm using is actually washed, thoroughly washed and thoroughly dried. You don't wanna have anything that has any kind of a yucky, disgusting milk smell, because obviously the birds won't want to live in your house. So um, you have to make sure that it's completely cleaned and dried out before you start. Um, you can run a paper towel in there if you if your jug is big enough to get one in there. Um, otherwise, just let it air dry. It took a couple days to get all the water out for mine, but you can do whatever you like. So now I'm going to decide which side I want to put my little house on. Uh, I think I'll go with this one here. So I'm just going to use a sharpie. I'm going to do. I'm just going to use black, but whatever color is fine. I'm going to use this bottom section for the actual house. I'm not going to draw there. I'm going to put my little uh, door for my house up here in this section here. I'm just going to draw, I don't want to draw too big of a hole because the, the bird that's going to live in here is probably not going to be a very big bird. I'm just going to draw a circle here. Make it a little bit more flat on the bottom so the birdie has a little bit you know, easier time getting in there. So something like that looks good. And then I'm going to use a craft knife. This part can be pretty hard. Um, if you have a regular half gallon milk jug, um, a regular milk jug, whatever you have, it, it might not be quite as hard to cut as this one. This one's a little thick. Um, but just be sure you're very, very careful. I'm kind of using like a saw action, um, just going in and out to, to get it to sort of slice. But do it in little bits because obviously plastic doesn't cut in the circle very well. So you may have to kind of do it where you're like chomping down a little bit on it. So this um, center, this this hole that I just cut out, there's a little piece here, I'm going to just pick that off quick. Um, so this is actually really, really rough and pretty sharp, so I'm going to use a hot glue gun. You can do whatever you'd like for this part. I'm just going to use a hot glue gun. I'm actually going to put a bead of hot glue um, right along the inside edge. So it's not on the outside of the, the jug, it's actually on the inside edge so that the bird doesn't get cut on it or get stuck. I do it in sections though because... Um, if you kind of have a glob that's a little big, it, it tends to either fall inside or go outside. So I'm just going to work my way around and uh, let it dry a little bit. You can do it however you'd like. Again, you can use duct tape or you know, whatever whatever it is that you want, but you can't really paint or put markers on duct tape. So it's up to you what process you want to use, but the, the, the uh, hot glue seemed to work really well for me. Make sure that you let it harden, obviously, before you touch it. So we're just going to let that sit for a little bit. Make sure that it's completely solid. So that looks pretty good. See, it's all nice and nice and smooth in there now. All right, so in this bottom section, I'm going to put the little pegs so that the birdie has a place to land when he comes home, or she. Um, so I'm just going to use a craft knife and make a little X in there, kind of like that. Um, and then I'm going to use this wooden dowel. So I don't have a um, you know, any kind of a saw or anything. You can actually cut this with the scissors. You just kind of just saw, just just keep going, cut, 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 cut. Um, put a, putting a little pressure on it, eventually you'll get all the way through the wooden dowel. So this is just like, I think it's a quarter inch wooden dowel. Um, they have these at, at Walmart. Um, but you can use anything. So if you if you don't have any wooden dowels, you can use a popsicle stick or, um, I don't know, whatever else you have, you be creative with that. Um, this end is a little sharp, so I'm going to put that uh, on the outside so I don't get my bird stuck here. I'm just going to kind of push it in there get the hole opened. Looks pretty good, but you can see that the, the little um, peg is pretty flimsy. So I'm actually going to take it out and I'm going to put a little bit of uh, hot glue right on the outside. It's actually a, not a little bit, it's quite a big gob. Just like that. And then I'm going to put the peg right directly in there. You don't want to push it in too far because um, otherwise it'll take up room where the birdie makes his nest. So I'll push mine out a little bit, went a little bit too far. Um, but having the hot glue on there just helps it give it a little bit more stability. Um, so you can actually put another bead around the outside. Uh, but you can see that it's a little bit more uh, secure in there. So that's all That's all your only objective. I'm just going to get some of these this stuff out of the way here quick. All right, so now we're going to decorate. And you can do it however you want. You can use paint. Um, if you do use paint, you're going to want to use enamel paints. But I'm just going to use these beautiful uh, wide range of colors of permanent markers. So I'm going to start by drawing, I don't know, whatever I want on here. 
You can be as, as creative as you'd like. Yes, again, you can use paint if you want, um, but I'm not going to.
All right, so now we're gonna put the string or some kind of holder on the top. I'm just gonna use a twine that I have, um, but you can use whatever you'd like. If you wanna use a hanger, like a, um, a metal hanger, you can certainly do that. Um, some chain, however it is that you wanna hang it. And you don't have to cut into your bottle like I am. I'm just putting that same X that I used for the dowel at the bottom, um, one on each side, so you can kinda of see it. Yeah, a little bit. Um, you can kind of see it right there. You don't want to make it too huge because you don't want it to pour inside. Um, so if you do this step, make sure that you have it, you know, a small hole so that the rain doesn't come down inside on the birdie. Um, again, you can just tie this around the top neck or you can figure out some other way to hang it where it's not being cut into the bottle. So it's entirely up to you what you want to do. I'm just going to twist the top off and I'm actually going to use um, something to poke this hole just to get it a little bit bigger. This little plastic screw here. I'm gonna try and push it. Um, there it is. I'm gonna try and push the string in, or the the twine inside um, without having to make the hole too huge. Let me try and do that first. This is the only part of the project that is a little bit cumbersome. So, um, depending on what process you use, you know this could be kind of the frustrating section. So hopefully, you stick it out and then you have a beautiful bird. Oops. You just kind of put it on there and then push push the, the twine down in there. This twine is a hemp twine. I got it at uh, again Walmart, but you can get it anywhere. You just want to use something that's going to be um, good to use outdoors. So you can use any kind of a natural type of thing. You don't want to really use like string. You can, but it will eventually disintegrate, so you may have to replace it. Um, so you can see I'm just kind of putting this uh, on the outside, pushing it through the hole from the outside to the inside. And it's really hard to get my fingers in there, so just kind of do the best you can. Just trying to push it in there a little bit more so that I can grab it. That hole just is very, very tiny. <laughs> Alright, so when I struggle with that enough, I give up and I'm going to get the tweezers. So I'm just going to reach down inside and pull that, that twine out of there. Just, just like that. So I'm going to pull them up through the, the top of the jug just high enough so that I can tie the knot in there. This, it, is, it is difficult to move it through there so I have to kind of yank it pretty hard but um, you just want it long enough so that you can tie a little bit further. Hold on. There we go. So that you can tie um, a knot in the end so that it won't come out. Again you can do this however you'd like. You don't have to do this step. You can use the hanger option or some wire or whatever you have. And then you're just going to go through and pull the string so that it goes back down inside the jug just like that. So it's nice and tight. And then put the top back on, so that obviously it's secure, and just like that. And I have this writing on the top of mine. Um, we always put a date on it because we don't really drink a lot of milk, so we have this date on here of when it's going to go bad. Um, so we're just going to use a black marker and go ahead and cover that up. We don't need to see any of that stuff. All right, so that looks great. I think it looks awesome. I hope that you had a great time with this family time project. Be sure to display your birdie house loud and proud so that a new birdie can move in. And please post a picture, if you don't mind, of your creation. We hope you have a wonderful day.